It's always good practice to sketch out a room and diagram where the mats would fit. The instruction manual has some handy graph paper to help with this as well as we have a room design tool feature. Now this tool allows guests to get help with laying out their mats in a room by a quiet warmth technician. Once you have your room laid out, you'll need to plan where you'll hook up the leads to your 20 amp dedicated circuit. A licensed electrician will be able to help set one up from the main electrical box. The quiet warmth system does need to be protected by a GFCI, which thoughtfully is incorporated into any of the quiet warmth branded thermostats. Of the tile manufacturer. In this case today, we're using a backer board over the wood subfloor. Unroll the quiet warmth mats in the position that is desired and check proper clearances and fit. Again, mats should maintain 5 inches from the baseboards and trim. The white membrane edges that encase the film heat mat come unsealed for easy customization. If the mats do not need to be cut to length for fitting your space, then you must seal the edge flaps by peeling back the release liners and sealing. If the mats are needed to be cut to length, do so by cutting off the amount needed and cut between the black stripes. Just as before, insulate the cut in with the Kapton disc provided. Remember to take Ohm's readings along the way and record the values in the page provided in the installation manual. Seal the membrane edges so it has a moisture tight seal around the heating mat and do so by peeling back the release liner on both sides of the flap and sandwich the mat into the membrane. Work out any creases and air bubbles as best you can if any occur. Once the flaps are secured, dry fit the mat and then roll back the mat with a plastic peel and stick release liner down to the subfloor, releasing the peel and stick liner and gently pull the plastic release liner back while the mat falls into place. Hand smooth the mat down or with a float trowel to ensure a good bond with the subfloor. Just as before, run the lead wires to the wall where the junction box will be located. You may have to recess the lead wires and the mat connections into the subfloor by notching or creating shallow channels to ensure a flat surface for the flooring to lay on. Again, we have this step already completed, but it can be achieved with any rotary saw or any really tool of your choice. Duct tape the leads down to the subfloor as it is a good practice to label the lead wires to which mat they belong for the electrical hookup later. Now this can be as easy as putting a 1 on the white wire and a 1 on the black wire to indicate those belonging to mat 1 in your sketch or diagram. The final hookup of the lead wires to the power should be done by a licensed electrician and ensure to follow all local and national electrical codes. Once the quiet warmth system is properly installed, all that remains for your guests to do is install the flooring of their choice directly over the top of the quiet warmth mats.